Hi guys, Glory Hunter back with another Carcassonne, and this time we're looking at expansion for the tower. Finally, apologies for the late uh, upload on this one. Have been wanting to do this for quite a few months now. Um, we just not had a chance just due to working opposite shifts with the misses. But we're here now. We're doing it. So let's take a look at what's in the tower. So we have 18 new land tiles, all of which contain a tower on them. Uh, we get the tower piece itself, which is essentially just a tile holder. So our tiles are going to be selected from this piece. Uh, you can leave it built once you've built it. It does fit in the box, so that's quite handy. You don't have to dismantle it again. And then we have our 30 tower pieces, which are little wooden tower pieces, which stack on top of each other, hence building the tower. So the only piece really worth noteworthy is this piece and it is a um a city continuing under this bridge obviously the road continues over the bridge and then we have four separate fields and obviously our tower piece everything else is pretty much a standard tile piece we've got our, our monasteries and roads and everything like that obviously the tower breaking the roads up on those pieces and it plays pretty much the same as a normal car so However, we have the extra tower rules for stealing or capturing our opponent's meeples. And how this works is, uh, depending on how many players are in the game, you get a certain amount of these tower tiles. So for a two-player game, you'll have ten. For a three-player game, you'll have nine. Four players, seven. Five players, six. And six players, you'll have five tiles each. So when you place a tile on the board, if it has a... Um, tower token on it you have four choices so you can either play a meeple as usual on a normal feature on the tile as standard or our three new moves are one to place a tower token on any tower tile that's on the board um, place a tower token on another tower that has not got a meeple on already on the tower to extend the tower vertically or the fourth move is to place a meeple on top of a tower, closing the tower off to everybody else. So, capturing meeples. When you place one, let's move this out of the way. When you place one tile token on your first tower, you can essentially capture any meeple that is in one space of that token. So, if we have a meeple on this road, I've placed this token here I can capture this meeple because it's in one square of this tower it does not work diagonally only vertically and horizontally so once I place another tower on there I can then capture up to two squares in each direction capture meeples up to this square and so on three is three so however tall the tower is is how many meeples you can capture you can capture a meeple that is on another tower and you can capture your own meeples if you want to return that back to your store. And that is basically it. It's fairly easy. So if you've captured somebody's meeple and your opponent has one of your meeples, so if my opponent has my meeple, I have my opponent's meeple, you must exchange these meeples straight away. So you get them back. Um, you can capture as many meeples if you want. And... If you capture a lot of your opponent's meeples, they can buy meeples back from you for three points. So you get three points, they lose three points. If they don't have three points, then obviously they can't buy one back. You can't go below zero score. You must have at least three points to buy a meeple back. Now, using this with other expansions, there is a handy piece on the back of the rule manuals telling you which meeples can be caught, can't be caught, and obviously um, other rules for other expansions so meeples that you can place on a tower are the large meeple and the ringmaster meeples you cannot place on a tower is basically everything else you see there um meeples you can capture from the board are these four so obviously the abbot the large the wagon and the mayor and then meeples you can't capture from the board obviously the pig the builder the barn the shepherd and obviously the mayor mayor of the city um, the car of Carcassonne, uh, Meeple in the castle, and obviously, obviously neutral tokens such as um, the sheep and bridges and items like that, basically. And then other rules for other expansions. Episode 3, um, the fairy does not protect you, a Meeple, from a tower being captured. 
Uh, the dragon can eat meeples on a tower. And expansion 8, meeples that have both a bridge and tower on them. Um, you just move the tower slightly so you can fit a bridge on the same square. So you can use it. So we're going to play a game as usual, show you how it works. Stay tuned and we'll give our thoughts at the end. Okay, so this is the tower with the pieces in. As you can see, this is the standard edition with just the tower in. So it's about halfway full in the tower. The more, obviously, expansions you play, the more the tower is going to get filled. You can get a few expansions in there, but if you're playing with all of them and having a massive game, you probably outgrow the actual tower and just use a box lid like we tend to do. Uh, but that's the standard with the tower in, so it's not too bad. So we'll place that there, and that's where we'll be placed, taking our tiles from. So obviously it's starting to type in it there. We're going to select as usual who goes first. So my opponent will choose. And she will be going first. Makes a change. Okay. <laughs> Take your tile and let's go. You'll probably hear Indy throughout. She's been quite chattery today. So uh, apologies for that. And I've already got a tower. And this piece actually has one of the vineyards in it. Um, so you can use that as well with other expansions. I am going to start off with a tower, just to get started, see that goes on there. I can't capture anything because that diagonal to me, so we won't be capturing that one just yet. Already building a city over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get them points in before we stop stealing. Yeah. I'm going to have a city myself. Nice. <laughs> These as well, I think. Yeah. <coughs> Quite close to that tower there. So you've got a choice now. Build a tower up. Oh no, is there any point? Because there's nobody there. Well, no, but you can put on any tower. Oh, so you can put it there and you can yeah. steal one of my meeples so straight away. That's the oh, uh, no, disadvantage of building next to a tower. So you yeah. surely stole one of my meeples. I'm going to place a meeple on this road, instantly completing it three points. Now I'll finish that one as well. Okay, so we've got two, four, 14 points, nice. nice. Good start. There are not many places this can go at the moment, so kind of put it out. Yeah, put it out of the way over there. Oh, and I've got monasteries, I've got nice. She's got a road on it. Um, That's a good place for that, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> place in there, um, and I will take the monastery. Right okay, right. so this is what I was hoping for at this point in the game. Got a tower token, so what I'll do is place that on there, and I can place the tower here, okay. capturing this meeple. So we have a meeple each, so we instantly have to swap, so we get our meeples back. And she'll go. Okay, so I'll build onto my road. Yeah, I'll put that there. Yeah. Put it there, there's a chance it can get stolen. Let's have one up here. And another road. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to extend this city and turn that. I feel like that's going to be a big city. So obviously, because we've got the new version of tower, the tiles are slightly different, and we've got the blue roofs rather than the red roofs on the original. I'm going to complete that chest as well. Please. Okay, so I'm equal in there for four. End cap. Oh, that'll go nicely in Ooh, there. Nice. So eight points there. 
plus it helps out my monastery. Yeah. Mm. Oh, complete. Back, and that one for four as well. Try and keep a nice lead. <laughs> oh, wow, well, another monastery. It's, uh, helps so that's three. Else, that's so. three, <laughs> almost in a row. You're being very vocal today, B. Oh, I've got a tower piece. Okay. I might steal one of your monasteries. Okay. I think I will. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Although that castle down there probably would have been a good one as well. Yeah. Just that's going to get big. <laughs> so what I'll do... Extending it, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put a piece there oh, for now. I've got, to stop me. I've got a kind of a plan. Well, it's, you can still build on it at the minute, but I just need to hope to get one before you to oh, close it off. Oh, I feel like I've picked up the other piece. Oh no, I was going to say I didn't think I'd put it anywhere. Yeah. I'd rather have that road. Another road. This road, which I can only extend more roads with at the minute in this. Yeah, kind of help my monastery out, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I think I've picked up a piece that I can't actually put anywhere. Yeah, you can, you should be able to. There you go, you can put it on in your castle oh, again. Yeah. So I've got four points for that. Do you want that four as well? Yeah, please. Running away with points at the moment. Mm. Another. <laughs> Another one. Monastery. <laughs> well. Wow. <laughs> um, Feel free. <laughs> if you want to. Need to have my other ones out. Yeah. So. Let's just put it there. And I'm not going to fight with that one, no. no. Just because it's next to that tower. Um, and another end cap. Hard pop there. And I'll take that road, please. Mid it for yeah, two points, yeah. Two. But remember, we're only playing one expansion, so you've not got many right. tiles. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. You could just pop it there and see that. Yeah, you could. But then I'd have to add a piece to actually claim that city when I'm not in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the steels. Okay, so complete your own first one. Two, three, four, five points. Okay, thank you. And I'm. So you put one on that one and stole that one, yeah? Yeah. Great. So <laughs> for grabs. Just as I get my tile token that I needed. And okay. you know, the monastery, what's that? That's three, four, yeah. five in a row, five, pretty yeah. much. Wow. Okay. Can steal, although you're not actually next to any towers. So, if I put it there, that means you can essentially steal my guys. So, yeah, this is something you have to be wary of, is where you place them. There's not many places I can go that's free. I'm not just, just going to go that way. Stick it there. <laughs> Out of the way. I'm not going to use it. Mm, just a bendy road. I'll go around here, I think. I'm going to put the end cap on here, put a move oh, back I'm into that city. Yeah. <laughs> Still within grabbing distance though. Mm. Go here and take them two points. Two points in the middle bit. Trying to stay ahead. <laughs> 
Like yeah. another sick penis. Hmm. Not the piece I wanted. However, what I'll do is. Is it there anymore? No. I'll put it there and I'll play some EP in there for four points. Because I'm in need of some points. <laughs> You have two of my meeples over there. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm so far behind on points as well. Oh, dear. Put that. Oh, I can put that there. You sure you want to put it there? Oh. Maybe you can build on this one. Hang on. Can I put that there? If you want to, no, it's oh, diagonal, yeah, you won't steal. Awesome. Put it there, you can steal him. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll yeah. do that then. So that tower's now too high, so you yeah. can go two tiles deep. Ah, uh, so him. for every high, how many spaces do you have? Yep. Right, okay. <laughs> not got the piece I want again. I'm not doing well in this game. I think this might be the first game that I might actually win. <laughs> it's looking that way. Yeah. I'm struggling to place this piece as well. I think I'm just gonna have to build out on this I need to get more meat road here as well though to be fair. I'm gonna close off that tower. Okay. Carry on my road, but also play. Pop them down there. Oh, I haven't got one meeple left. I'll leave it. Right. Hmm. Not the piece that I wanted. But, oh no, I can't put it there. I will place it. Here and take four points. Yeah, four points for that one. For the castle, please. Okay, it's fine. The piece I wanted. Pop that in there. Put it in there. Okay. Oh, this city again. Oh, you're back in, right? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and he's dying, so you can't get him. Just when I've got a good piece, I could have put that uh, as well. Um, you can still put it there. Yeah, but then that's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put it on my castle okay. instead. Oh, I've got pretty much the same. Oh yeah, just with the road. Oh, so I'll extend that. Okay. Three meeples. Okay, so I've got two end caps and a tower. Um. I might just fill mine actually and try and stay in the lead. So I'll put it on my castle, but then put a tower. In fact, I'll put a tower there because then that will stop you from stealing. Well, no, so if I put a tower on that now, I can steal you. I will need to close it off. And I've got a tower. <laughs> what? So, what's going to happen here is. I'm going to place this tower anyway, really. I can't really get in. So I'll just place that there okay. and I'll put a tower here on yours. Okay. Me next, still 2D. And you get yeah. your meeple back. And then straight. Get my meeple back. Right, so my go. So I'm going to put that on there and claim my city back. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to extend mine even further. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to have to try and stop you building on that, I think. I just need that end cap caught now. Ooh, I've got a nice place and we could share a bit. Mm. You want to share? Not really. <laughs> We're going to share you. Probably. Oh, you can't put it there. Oh, can I? Oh, no. Oh. Gone. Right, okay. Oh, actually. I can put it 
put it there and film that one. Okay. Right next to that towel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really don't want to extend that anymore. Could extend it that way, I suppose. No, that's going to be way too big for the pieces that are left. I'm yeah. not going to risk it at this You've point. You've got again. a few, but... Let's see if I can build one somewhere else. It's not many, is there? No, not many places that you can put it. Let's just go over it. Yeah? Oh, that's quite near that tower, though. <laughs> this is the issue. Let's go over it. That's not near that tower. We got the monasteries as well. Have I got a rope? Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'll finish awesome. that rope, please. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces for the road. Thank you. And you had a tower token, so you can either build or close off a tower. I'm going to close with this. Yes, one. <laughs> wise choice. Just in time, as well as I get a tower as well. Your tower looks like it's about to fall over, so I'm just going to push that back on. I'm building the leaning tower of cock soon. <laughs> so, we've just got a field piece, really. And I really need it on my mining streets, but they've both got roads on. So, I'm going to use this to build a tower, but again, you're not really near any towers. Pretty quite strategically this time. Yeah, but the funny, like thing, I was say, the funny thing is not intentionally. Really? Well, I'm struggling with this piece. I'll just chuck it on the end somewhere and get it out of the way. Let's just place it there. And oh, I can only build a tower, that's all I can do, so um, I'm just going to put it there just for now, just to make it bigger. Right, so I've got a castle. Um, but it's got a road on, so I can't actually put it on my castle. Um, can I put it over there? Nope. <clears throat> I can't put it anywhere that I wanted to put it. <laughs> can I actually put it anywhere? Oh yeah, you can put it, join your seats together, oh, I actually, suppose. Yeah. Overthinking it, you see. There you go. Oh, I know the babies. <laughs> So we'll go on here. Castle there. So extend this a bit more, just for the extra point at the end. And then end up with a little row. That's what I want. Maybe not how it gets lying. So we'll put it on that one. Oh, got two tokens by mistake. Oh, do I really want to? <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, fact. Oh, oh no, I've not got a meeple. Now. No, I've got two of yours yeah, still. You, you're stealing them. I'll place it there. Okay. Um, place it on there. I'll close my road. Okay. Wow. Four quarters road. Room's going off. Anywhere. You've got a tea junction mm -hmm. down there. Chuck it out of the way. A little curvy road over on your side. Can you put it on there? Okay, or? I'll place it there just so I can build a tower. So I have no meeples. Uh, where do I want to extend to? Let's extend this one even more. Oh, nice. I'm glad you can't go diagonal. <laughs> yeah. So I've got a castle piece with a tower in as well. Um, which would fit nicely there actually. Yeah. Look at that. Um, perfect. Where do I want to put my tower though? So Remember you can capture your own meeples and because these meeples are sharing that tower and if I build on that I can capture him, you can just take him back. Oh, capture okay. your own meeple because you still own that whole city. Let's do that then. And I've also just realised that doesn't actually complete that city. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, so at least that's quite helpful. I've got one back. And I finally got 
My end cap. Nice. Certainty. Got a couple of shields in there. Certainty. 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 Certainty.
feel like this is going to be such a close game. <laughs> so eight for each of those in the monasteries because they're one tile short. It's a shame you didn't get that. One down here, one, two, three, four, five points for that guy. He's on a tower, so people on a tower they don't think score points, so he gets nothing. So we'll take these guys off as well. Yep. And we have one, two, three, four points for him on the road. Yep. Four points for this guy on this road. That one. And this monastery has one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Uh, city over there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at this, the last city. Can you get enough points? So I think you've got more than so enough. You've got your 50, we've got right. Yeah, oh, we are equal. Yeah, you've pretty much won. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, okay, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points. Okay, that. Finally. <laughs> 26 to 31. It's only took so, how many expansions? Yeah, a good five points ahead. You know, it was a close game. It was really yeah. a close game. Uh, thoughts on this kind of expansion? Just I adding really the tower in. like it. it. Yeah, it, it is it good. It adds a bit more of that competition. Yeah, I think it works it. better the more players that you have capturing yeah. other people's meeples. Obviously, with a two-player game, once you've captured a meeple and you're, you're, your opponent is, you, you're exchanging them straight away and you're only exchanging them with one person. So, yeah, that... You know, it's, it's a bit shorter, and uh, more people you've got to exchange with and meeples to capture, I think the more it'll work. Yeah. Obviously, very competitive um, expansion, if you want it to be. Yeah. Um, it has got that risk element of do you build a, a tower in there, something you're building, because people can steal your meeples straight away from it. And that's it, or and it's, build it near someone else. To yeah, it's to obviously it. trying to get your meeples diagonal to the tower, so they're not going to get stolen. That was um, pure fluke for me. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't but, really thinking yeah, about that. Quite, quite enjoyable. Yeah. There's a few things that have come up whilst playing. Um, obviously, if you do buy a meeple back for three points, you can play that meeple on the turn you buy it if you haven't already played it. Yeah. I just mentioned that as well because I don't think I had. Um, a few things that came up which I'm not sure about, so I don't know, people might put them in the comments and it's something I need to look into. If, for example, this city we've got here, if I had a meeple here, and my opponent was to place, let's find a piece. Yeah, that and have with the tower. No, because it's got a road on. So oh, I just okay. Wanted to fit. There is a piece that we had. Um, but the place, say this tile. So this is almost complete. I'm in, say, this square, and I need just the, that one piece to complete it. If my opponent plays this tile, it completes the city. But also they can capture the meeple at the same turn. So I'm not quite sure what happens. Whether, because the city is completed, I will get the points and my meeple back before they can capture it. Or do they capture it before I get my points? That's something that I think needs clearing up. And honestly, I'm not too sure at this moment. I will look it up and I'll probably add it in the comments when I find out. Um, so that came across. Uh, also, when you've got a tower in a fixture with... A meeple on it. I don't think the meeple counts as capturing that fixture. They are just in the tower, so therefore they don't get points mm -hmm. um, for capturing it. That's how I am led to believe. If anyone knows any other, please enter it in the comments. Um, but yeah, quite a good expansion. Yeah, it's one of the newest yeah. ones out that has been remade. Um, I think now we have. I think we've got all of them. All of the expansion now. We just need more. the mini expansions. Yeah, and the catapult. And the catapult, which yes. hasn't been re-released, and it's quite hard to get hold of. And apparently it's not a very good expansion. It's just flick meeples around the board. Yeah, um, which looks bad to do. Sounds it. a bit <laughs> fun, but a bit messy at the same yeah. time. So yeah, hope you have enjoyed, guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Yeah. Let us know you have this one. And... Uh, let us know which ones you want to see us team up together with now. Yeah, we'll probably use some team up ones now and mix expansions together. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye, Bye. for now.